What's going on guys? It's Nick from Lively Outdoors. It is Sunday, the day before Labor Day. I'm out here at Thor Global Defense Group. I'm just going to do a little shooting. Not really a review on anything. Just thought I'd bring a few toys out here and uh, get ready for fall to winter carry. And uh, this is kind of my choice of what I use. I figured I'd let y'all see. Uh, of course, I uh, since I've had this little bodyguard 2.0, I carry the daggum thing everywhere. So I thought, well, hell, I'll go ahead and shoot it too. But got a uh, m and Shield 45, Glock 40, and Glock 29. I'm not really going to be doing much but just shoot. I'm not going to probably be talking very much. Just want to have a little fun and make sure everything's good to go for fall and winter carry. Let's see what we got here. After, uh, I will, I will say this about the bodyguard 380, uh, or the bodyguard 2.0. Uh, after these hundred rounds today, actually I've got 120. I will be at a thousand and forty rounds out of this little bodyguard 3.0. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not really made to shoot that, but. That's what I did. I wanted to make sure the thing was running because I've had issues with body or with 380s in the past. And uh, I want to make 100% sure it was going to feed all kinds of ammo and everything else. I, I put a lot of different rounds through it and it's fed every single thing I've attempted to feed it. So it's a huge plus there. I like going a little bit bigger, a little bit faster, you know, uh, or a little bit heavier around uh, during spring and, I mean, during fall and, and winter. <coughs> That's just me. That's just how I prefer to do it. I say that as I'm shooting the Bodyguard 380, but this little dude's just going to go everywhere with me. It don't matter. I didn't didn't rack the slide back or let the slide get right back on that last round. I'll probably hit it with my thumb. <coughs> Alright. different side set up a lot louder ring then the old 380 <sighs> why these uh shield 45s never really caught on I, <laughs> I like the crap out of it i mean yeah it doesn't have a very long barrel length or anything but uh the size of it's pretty awesome and you almost got the same capacity as a uh, 1911 i mean basically the same capacity if you go with a regular what they're supposed to run is seven plus seven plus one in the chamber so i mean for a lot less weight. I don't know. But for whatever reason, they didn't catch on. I like them though. I like them a lot. They just shoot good. Well, I heck down all that. That's good. I see your crap crawling around all in there, creeping me out whenever I was trying to shoot. 
I wasn't even gonna record this, but I thought, eh, hell with it. Might as well, huh? I'm out here shooting. Might as well let somebody watch me screw up a hundred times. Right. It's a little bit high on the on the little box, so. It's hard to believe that's coming. I mean they, these are 10 millimeter is just an awesome round guys if you don't have a 10 millimeter and you enjoy shooting and you don't mind recoil or or you can control recoil pretty easy get a 10 millimeter you're not going to regret it it's just something about having 357 magnum power in a semi-auto this to me just feels good When you know it, shine up again. It just looks that's that's a day of fun right there. Mom and I came out here this morning and actually fished for about three and a half hours, and uh, ended up we ended up with 23. So that went good. And then I went home, ate, took a nap, and now I'm back here. Cause that's just what you do when you're having fun. On a three day weekend. Oh, and I missed the last one. I keep missing the last one. What's up with that? The Glock 40. The only Glock I never have been able to shoot fast because it's just slow and a long, heavy slide. Tell you one thing, I wouldn't want to be standing on the other end of this thing at all, well, any round, but especially that one. But I like this TLR9 on this gun. I mean, it's it's just sleek with it, you know. I mean, it's I just I really like it. It looks good, and it works excellent. I've played around with it for about a month now.